I guess this will work. I don't know. But anyways. All right, so I fucking failed trying to even get this shit to work. I bought a whole fucking tripod for this fucking video. And this shit fucking ends up snapping on me. What a waste of fucking money. I don't even know if I should consider this a win-win situation, but I got one light working. Oh, yeah, my fucking thumb is all fucked up. <laughs> but I got the fucking one light working, but I ain't got the tripod, so... We're gonna have to make this video work out somehow. I decided to turn all the lights in here because it was getting a little bit too dark, but I'm gonna show y'all my setup right now. So for the most part, my setup is pretty basic. Honestly, I got the Behringer interface, the Logitech speakers. I got my on both sides. I got some pretty basic headphones that you can get off of Amazon. Honestly, you can get whatever headphones you want as long as they're studio headphones. I just chose to uh, go the easy way and just get some basic ones. Um, Audio Technica microphone with the isolation and the pop filter. But, oh yeah, and the Logitech uh, mouse. But all this, really not even that much if you put it in perspective. But building your home studio is going to take some time. Honestly, it took me a good month to get everything secluded. Next thing you're going to want to do is find the beat. Now me, I already have like a lot of beats. As you can see, 1,132 beats. Um, okay, besides that. Anyways, I, I have a bunch of beats that I put into my likes and uh, whenever I write a song, I can just go back to the beat that I have. Most of the time, it'll still be on YouTube, but I always go for the free ones to avoid getting copyrighted on any of my songs for when I distribute my songs, but anyways, if you make beats, you could, um, you could use the beats that you make, but honestly me, I like going on YouTube and looking up free type beats, and, uh, I have a variety of beats that I just go through, but most recent one that I'm working on is the Spot em, Got em, uh, beat. So, the process of me writing a song is I find a beat, and then I start to end up freestyling to it, and once I get a flow and uh, a little bit of a little bit of a melody I start to write to it you know so this is the beat that I've chosen just end up freestyling on it it's gonna take time for you to write something but So while you're writing, you're going to be mumbling, but that's okay. That's part of the process of making the song. So, yeah, honestly, you're going to be mumbling, find a flow, go with it, stick with it, and then write a beat. You're a fucking dumbass. <laughs> write a beat. <laughs> write the lyrics, but yeah. So for me, I already wrote all the lyrics uh, to the song that I had made, but um, for the most part, I've already wrote this song like in a couple of... I wrote this song like in a good, like probably like one or two days. It wasn't really that hard and the beat is really not even that long. Once you got your beat, you're gonna have to, you're gonna wanna share it and then you're gonna copy the link. So once you copied your beat, you're gonna search up uh, YouTube to MP3 converter and you're just gonna paste the link onto the bar right here. It's gonna download it and you're gonna download the MP3 file and just exit out of that shit and then uh, download mp3 and it should be downloading right there once the mp3 file has been downloaded you're gonna search up um, mp3 to wave and I use cloud convert so after your it's downloaded you're gonna drag this over to select file and you're gonna convert it to wave and then once it finishes downloading you're gonna download this and it's gonna download, and you're gonna have the WAV file. And the WAV file is the most important thing that you need for the record. And now you're gonna need your recording software. So for me, 
I use GarageBand. I know a lot of people use Pro Tools, Logic Pro, and all that, but honestly, I'm more comfortable with GarageBand. So I've been using GarageBand for a long time, and uh, I've always rolled with it, and I just find it's pretty easy to use. So once you've gotten GarageBand open, you're gonna go to Empty Project, and it's gonna start a whole new project for you. You're gonna choose Voice. You're gonna go to Create. It's gonna create a new layer for you. And now, what you're gonna to wanna to do is go to your downloads and select the WAV file and put it right here. Put it as the first, the first layer or whatever you wanna call it. So now you have the beat and just wanna check if it works. It works. Oh yeah, and you're gonna to wanna to take this off because nobody uses that. So now that you have your beat, now you need to put your vocals. So you're gonna go to new tracks and then do the same thing that you did for putting the beat. Go to create. And for me, I go to the voice and you can choose any of these uh, presets. I uh, go to narration, it's the clearest one. And obviously I still have my um, audio going through my speakers, so. And how you're gonna wanna change that is you're gonna go over here, you're gonna go to preferences, you're gonna go to audio, and then you're gonna select this. You're gonna change both of them to built in. So now it should be playing through your headphones. Okay, so now that you have your vocals and your beat, you're gonna go over to your notepad and you're gonna put it in your notes. So. I'm gonna go back to my notes. I'm gonna copy all of this, right click it, and then copy. I'm gonna walk over that. Go back to the notepad, paste. Now you have all your lyrics on the side, and you can record at the same time while looking at your lyrics. So, right now, I'm gonna record uh, raw vocals. So. This is going to be the first take. This is not going to be the actual final take, but you're going to go through the entire beat with the lyrics that you have, and uh, you're just going to pick at uh, what takes sound good, and you're just going to punch in every time. So right now, the preset that I have is narration vocal. So if we go to the EQ, it's already uh, set up and everything, but you can tweak um, everything you want. You can make it sound different if you want, if you know how to mess with the EQs. Um, honestly, the EQs are really not that hard to tweak with, but honestly, if you want to do that, you can, but if you want to stick with the preset, you can do that too. And now, if you want to record, you have two options. You can hover over here and press the red button to record, or you can press R, that stands for record. So, press R. And now when you see that red, that means it's recording. So it's picking up everything that I'm saying right now. All right, so I'm gonna bring up the lyrics right here on the side. And I'm gonna be right here, right where the beat drops. And we're gonna hit record and we're just gonna do our first take and let's see how it sounds. We just, okay, so this is what I mean. You're gonna mess up a lot of times while recording, but that's part of the process, so. We just stole the SRT, my nigga pull up in a J. Boy, you better watch out, cause the police on our ass. Niggas dissing on 6 4, ain't got a thousand, nothing cash. All these niggas broke as fuck, they be smoking, not they pay. Niggas on the gram, steady trying to diss up on my bro. Even if he in the gray, still look come and take your soul. We just got a brand new eye, that's another pet we roll. Bitches in my crib, asking what a plug, bitch, I don't know. So that's the first take. So we got the first take done. So if you mess up, you're just gonna right click it and then press delete. So we don't wanna do that. All right, so after we did that, we have the first take and we're gonna have to move on to the next layer. So if you wanna do another take with a different preset, you can do that, just add a new vocal, but we want the same uh, vocals on this one. So we're gonna right click and we're gonna go to new track with duplicate settings. So. 
all the settings that you have on this track is going to be the same on this track and you can just punch in every time Girl, take your pants off, let me see how you go If I think she a groupie, I'll pass her off the show Man, it be my brother, study smoking all that dope I'll probably be a stripper the way I'm clutching on my pole She be fucking on the gang, but I ain't never hit the bitch She be popping all the Zans, be the reason she ain't rich Calling on my man, saying she really missed a dick And I'm dozing off the lean with my Glock up on my hip, look down with the set, niggas upset, gun off the beam, she get us away, niggas some rats, niggas some hoes, give me a take, you know that it blows, cover the smell, never gon' tell, bullets be ringing, it sound like bells, fleeing the scene, going to hell, do it for the team or you might get killed. So we recorded those parts, so I've already done most of the song, and now we're just gonna bring back the hook, so I'm gonna copy that, I'm gonna go to the next layer, and you're gonna paste it. And while you're pasting it, you're going to have to go back in your headphones to make sure it's not off beat. So you're going to have to snap it into beat. All right, y'all. So I re-recorded everything and it sounds way better. Like I said, you're going to have to go through the first take and just see if you like it or not. And if you like it, keep it. If you don't like it, uh, redo it. So we ran through the entire song and uh, I'm going to show y'all how it sounds like. <laughs> We just stole an SRT, my nigga pull up in a jet But you better watch out, cause the police on our ass Niggas dissing us, expo ain't got a thousand up in cash All these niggas broke as fuck, they be smoking, now they pay Niggas on the gram, steady tryna diss up on my bro Even if he in the grave, still a come and take us soul We just got a brand new op, that's another pet we wrote Bitches in my crib, asking what the plug, bitch I don't know, girl, take your pants off, let me see how you go If I think she a groupie, I pass off the show man it be my brother steady smoking all that dope i'll probably be a stripper the way i'm clutching on my pole she be fucking on the gang but i ain't never hit the bitch she be popping all the zans be the reason she ain't rich calling on my man saying she really missed the dick and i'm dozing off the lane with my glock up on my hip look down with the sick niggas upset got off the beat she get us away niggas some rats niggas some hoes keep me a tech you know that it blows come with the smell never gonna tell bullets be ringing and sound like bells playing the scene going to hell do it for the team or you might get Kill. We just stole an SRT, my nigga pull up in a jet But you better watch out, cause the police on her ass Niggas dissing us, expo ain't got a thousand up in cash All these niggas broke as fuck, they be smoking, now they pay Niggas on the gram, steady tryna diss up on my bro Even if he in the grave, still a come and take us so We just got a brand new op, that's another pet we wrote Bitches in my crib, asking what the blood, bitch, I don't know So now that we got recorded the main vocals it's pretty much up to you if you want to do back vocals or y'all want to do ad libs. Completely up to you. In a jack. On a ass. Up in cash. Out they pack. On my bro. Take your soul. Pet we roll. I don't know. And now, if you want, you can share. And what I like to do is airdrop it to my phone, and it'll uh, airdrop it. Uh, it'll airdrop the WAV file to me. And once you're done uh, finishing your song, then you could share it. And personally, I like to airdrop it to myself, so I get airdropped the WAV file. But honestly, you can uh, get the track and save it to your computer and you could uh, name it so let's save as all right so it's saved and now you can see it says the title of the song and no longer says project and after that your song is done and I'm just gonna go ahead and airdrop it to my phone so I could have the WAV file. And it's gonna ask you what quality you wanna have it as and just leave it as it is and share it. And it's gonna go through the entire song and it's gonna ask you who you wanna airdrop it to. So you're gonna wanna airdrop it to yourself. So now that you airdropped it to your, your phone, you probably more than likely dropped it to your files. So 
when you airdropped it to your files, you're going to want to export it to your notes. And when you go to your notes, it should be, should be there. Yeah, we have it right here. So this is the song. And it's playing through my headphones right now. Ain't never lied though. Real talk. We just stole an SRT, my nigga pull up in a jet But you better watch out, cause the police on our ass Niggas dissing us, expo ain't got a thousand up in cash All these niggas broke as fuck, they be smoking, now they pay Niggas on the gram, steady tryna diss up on my bro Even if he in the grave, still look come and take your soul We just got a brand new op, that's another pet we wrote Bitches in my crib, asking what a blow, bitch, I don't know Girl, take your pants off, let me see how you go If I think she a groupie, I pass her off the Show. Man, it be my brother steady smoking all that dope I'll probably be a stripper the way I'm clutching on my pole She be fucking on the gang, but I ain't never hit the bitch She be popping all the Zans, be the reason she ain't rich Calling on my man, saying she really missed the dick And I'm dozing off the lane with my Glock up on my hip Look, don't what to say, niggas upset, got off the beat, she get us away Niggas some rats, niggas some hoes, keep me a tech, you know how it blows Cover the smell, never gon' tell, bullets be ringing and sound like bells Playing the scene, going to hell, do for the team or you might get killed we just stole an SRT, my nigga pull up in a jet for you. Yeah, that's pretty much the song, man. But anyways, that's the song we got done. Honestly, I don't be really be doing none of this YouTube shit, but if y'all want to see more videos, y'all should tap in with this video that I'm about to drop. Um, pretty much based off of the title, what I'm going to put. I don't know what the title I'm going to put as for this video, but... If y'all want more videos like this, let me know. I probably, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I just went through hell trying to get the tripod to work and it fucking broke on me. But if y'all want more videos like this, then shit, I might just do another one. But I appreciate all y'all for tapping in.